your teammate and you can't even like this oh my god someone just donated bits <laughs> on my stream and it just showed up on my obs while i was talking okay i'm gonna restart yeah that's okay wait someone just subbed too what oh i'm streaming i'm streaming I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not recording. I'm streaming. Let's hold it right there for a sec. This is TSM Imperial How, and as of right now, in June of 2021, TSM Imperial How is the biggest Apex Legends streamer on Twitch by far. It's not even close. Now, if you're like me, you might be wondering why this 22-year-old gamer is so popular. And again, if you're like me, you scoured the internet looking for the answer to this question. And finally, if you're like me, you failed to find any answer close to satisfying because there isn't really a good answer out there. But hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. Also, a quick side note, I did a video about why the TSM Apex Legends team is the best team in Apex a while ago, but I got some negative feedback on it because admittedly it was very basic and not a very good video that didn't go in depth enough. So to try to improve my content, I've researched this topic to the best of my ability for weeks and I tried to get all the information I can on the topic. Please let me know if you thought it was in depth enough and if you got something out of it. It really means a lot to me. And one last thing before I start, I'd like to ask you guys to subscribe. It's free. It really helps me out. And you can unsubscribe at any time if you're not satisfied. That being said, let's get into it. First and most obviously, there is skill. I was a pretty skilled player, and we know this because it says smack dab on his Twitter he's won 9 tournaments, 8 with TSM Apex team, and 1 solo. But this alone isn't a valid reason for why he's popular. There are a ton of skilled players out there who are good or maybe better than him, but none of them can manage to get as big a Twitch audience as he can. You could say it's because Hal is a better IGL, or that he knows the game like the back of his hand, and he gives him a competitive advantage, but there are dozens and dozens of Apex streamers that have these skills too. So the question remains, why is Hal so so different. It definitely is in some part skill level, and there's no doubt that Hal wouldn't be where he is today without being one of the best at the game. I love competitive Apex, and like any sports fan, I have a favorite team, TSM Apex. Now more recently, people have started to dislike TSM Apex because of their constant win rate in tournaments and big matches, but I disagree. I think that since they have the skill and they have put in the time and effort to get where they are, they deserve everything coming their way. And speaking of TSM, there's no doubt that TSM is a huge reason that Hal is where he is. Let's let Hal tell us how TSM changed his life. How I got into TSM, um, we we got contacted by a bunch of different orgs. We didn't really like apply or ask anything. Kind of just publicly announce your team, and then org scout. They basically scout by looking through Twitter or Twitch, shit like that. Did you stream at the time? No, I did not stream at all. I was with nobody. However, this is not the reason TSM Imperial Hal blew up. Again, let's listen to Hal explain to us. He's being part of TSM. Done you good, of course. Basically, how orgs work, chat, it's like, orgs obviously don't immediately just give you success, right? This is basically how it works. Like, you succeed, and your org, whatever org you're on, is like a multiplier of your There's success. There's just two drops. If, if I win a tournament, like, that success is, like, basically multiplied because of the exposure that TSM gives me, or whatever org it is. So like you can't you can't just join TSM and be automatically or, just like oh my god streamer it's like holding tunnel down with right? it, just, it doesn't work like that you have to like you have to do you have to succeed obviously on your own and then TSM will basically multiply your success. Well there you go. Joining an org, even one of the most famous ones on the earth, will not blow you up unless you get big by yourself and build an audience and a fan base. And this is further proven by TSM reps, TSM Alberlelli, and TSM Snipedown. Reps Alberlelli signed to TSM at the same time as Hal, and Snipedown signed about two years later, but Hal is more popular than any of them by a margin of thousands of viewers, so TSM's not the only answer. Let's look at Hal as a person. He lived with his parents in Florida for most of his life until he moved out a couple of months ago at the ripe age of 21. Now, Hal's a very wealthy man. He's got 4,255 subscribers on Twitch and probably receives a couple hundred smackers and donations every day. Hal claimed he lived with mommy and daddy for tax reasons, but we all know thanks to Ludwig Algren that taxes are just a big old joke put on us by the government and that no one actually does them. Hal recently moved to Las Vegas, Nevada with his teammates Reps and Snipedown. He lives with Reps, and Snipedown lives with his wife down the street. Hal's always been very open about his personal life, telling his viewers everything from how he did in high school to showing feet on stream with mere five gifted subs. This leads to another reason Hal might be the king of Twitch in the Apex Legends category. He's a very personable fellow, and he's relatable to most of his fan base, which is mainly between the ages of 18 to 24, because he is very young, not 30 like Snipedown. He is amusing, interesting, and pretty fun to watch. Like everything else, this alone is not the reason he's big on Twitch. While he's relatable and fairly easygoing, there are streamers who are way more personable and entertaining in terms of personality. Streamers like No Coco Puffs or Doll Touche or Lulu Lovey. And while personality is not the only reason he's a Twitch star, it definitely plays a role. For example, I think personality is one of the big reasons why he's more popular than TSM Reps. While Reps is a talented player and pretty interesting to watch, I think he's far more bland and uninteresting than Hal. This is just my opinion. 
He obviously is liked by a lot of people, seeing he streams to a couple hundred viewers on Twitch on average, and he's got about 60,000 subscribers on YouTube. I just personally think he's less interesting than hell. Finally, the last reason that TSM Imperial has been blowing up on Twitch is viewer stealing. Alright, when you hear that phrase, you might think it sounds bad, like, Oh, how's going to other streamers' chats to convince the viewers to come watch him? But it's not anything like that. What it basically means is that Hal is taking other people's viewers naturally. Since he is regarded as the Apex God, no joke, people actually call him the CEO because he is that good. He plays with lots of people. And believe it or not, I found Hal through TSM reps. I got recommended this video, and I liked the God tier gameplay, so I watched a bunch of his stuff. And throughout reps' videos, Hal would always be there because they're on a team and they play together a lot. And after a couple videos, I decided to check out Hal over reps because I thought he was funnier, more interesting, and frankly, a more skilled player than reps. And now I'm a Hal fan. Again, nothing against reps, I just prefer Hal. He does this on YouTube as well as Twitch. When he's playing with Lulu Lovey, she usually has about 9,000 viewers or so, and Hal influences them and leaves an impression on them every time he plays with her. And he can do this with anyone he plays with, whether that be a streamer with 200 viewers like Zach Mazer or a 12k viewer stream like It's Timmy. It doesn't stop with individual streamers. During any tournament Hal's playing in, no matter how important, how big, how small, Hal's always the most viewed Apex streamer playing, more viewed than the official Apex Legends Twitch stream itself. And this is usually happens because A, his dedicated already built audience watches him, and B, whenever he is winning a game, which is very often because he's super good, people who are watching streams that are either official Apex Legends broadcasts or the players who have died in the tournament, they go to Hal's stream for live comms and the adrenaline rush at the end. So I'd say that Hal gets a 25 to sometimes 50% viewer spike when he is one of the last squads alive in the end game, depending on the size of the tournament he's playing in. Before I summarize the points here, I want to talk about how Hal could be growing more, and that is with YouTube. Surprisingly enough, this happens very frequently on Twitch. Streamers have a YouTube channel with a good amount of subscribers, but they don't use it to their full potential. A good example of this is XQC, who, by all metrics, is the biggest streamer on Twitch. The problem with XQC's YouTube isn't that he posts too little, if anything, it's that he posts too much, sometimes three or four times per day. Now, XQC is a little different because he doesn't only really care about the YouTube side of things, and he has some deal with his editor, where his editor takes a cut of the earnings on YouTube, so it makes sense that the editor posts as much as he can to make himself the most money. But I think that if XQC really tried and thought of good content ideas and attempted to spread his influence as far and wide as he could, he'd probably have two or three million subscribers easily. Like I said, though, he doesn't only really care about YouTube and just focuses on streaming. But I think the same logic could be applied to Hal. Right now, Hal posts maybe once or twice a week on YouTube, and they're always just like stream highlights, like a single game he did well in, or something funny that he and his team did. Like XQC, if Hal put some thought into it, he probably could have a ton of subscribers easily. So our Kobe has 250,000 more subscribers than Hal, and Kobe gets about 700 average viewers when he streams. Hal gets literally 15 or 20 times that many viewers on average day. So I think that Hal could be getting way more subscribers than he has now. Now that I've gone over all the factors that I think help influence TSM Imperial Hal's growth, let's summarize it. So TSM Imperial Hao is Apex Legends' biggest streamer on Twitch for a few reasons. He has insane mechanical skill that is very entertaining and enjoyable to watch. He is one of the few Apex Legends streamers signed to TSM, which is one of the biggest esports organizations in the world, and a major way to get your name out there. He has gained a ton of attention, popularity, and clout from winning 9 big Apex tournaments. He's an interesting person, and he's interesting to quote unquote talk to if you can call talking to Twitch chat talking. He's a personal fellow and is pretty entertaining to watch. Hal consistently takes viewers from other Apex Legends creators, whether that be the squad he's playing ranked with, or another streamer's YouTube video that he's in, or even the official Apex Legends Twitch or YouTube. He slowly takes other people's fans and brings them to his stream. Finally, we have a factor that I didn't cover above, and that is consistency. The two reasons that I didn't mention consistency above were, number one, I don't really think this helped him blow up very much because this just helped his current fan base and new fans stick around and tune into the stream routinely. And number two, I wanted to reward you fine folks who stuck around to the end. Thank you, it means a lot to me. Do me a favor and comment the word consistency below to confuse the losers who clicked off in the first minute. Alright, what I mean by consistency is that you know what you're getting when you click on a TSM Imperial House stream. You know it's either going to be hell on the rank grind, or hell on a competitive practice, or hell on a tournament. There is zero note of unexpectedness involved whatsoever. You always get Apex Legends gameplay. I think this has helped him a tiny bit because a viewer who has been watching Hal from the launch of Apex and the start of Hal's stream will probably still be watching today if they still like Apex because Literally nothing about how stream has changed in the past two years. Alright guys, I'm on level with you. I've been researching the internet for weeks and I can't figure out why TSM Imperial Hal is the biggest Apex streamer on Twitch. Yes, all the things I've listed definitely do help him, but aside from winning 9 tournaments and being a member of TSM, there are people who are better at all the things I've listed than him. People like Doll2, for example, are more entertaining, and people like It's Timmy are as good if not better than him. And yes, he's probably the smartest IGL and has the most Apex game sense in the world, but come on guys, you all know it's not very entertaining to watch. I'm forced to say I think Hal is the Twitch hero he is because two things. The things I've listed definitely do help. No matter how big or how small, they definitely help them grow. And number two, someone's gotta be the biggest tape streamer on Twitch. And like all successful internet personalities, Hal got lucky.
And just to clarify, I strongly believe that you can succeed on the internet and in life by working hard and thinking and being the best you can be at what you do. But what I mean by luck is that someone had to be the biggest Apex streamer on Twitch, and it turned out to be Hal. Again, not really luck since I'm sure he worked exceedingly hard to get where he is today, but my point is there are other Apex streamers who work harder than him that will never be where he is. That's what I mean. Right. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>